This is a really quick video lecture on why you should take a snapshot and how you take a snapshot in VMware Workstation. And some of the things we do, we can hose our system, we can screw it up, we can delete files that we don't need to be deleted, and then our virtual machine won't boot. So one failsafe against this is to create something called a snapshot. And what a snapshot does is that it will take a essentially take a picture of the current running status of your system so that you can later go back to that same status as if nothing had occurred after that. And we do that up here through the VM menu down to snapshot and you see that you've got take a snapshot and snapshot manager here. Let's look at snapshot manager. And it says notice that it says you are here. So essentially I don't have a snapshot in here which means that if I go in and I do something uh, that I shouldn't to the system, and I'll do that in a second to show you how this works, is that there's nothing I can go back to, is that I've hosed my system, so I essentially have to reinstall it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot right here, and we can name this anything we want. I'm going to name this February 23rd. We can add a description down here if we need to. We can take a snapshot. And in a second here, notice it says you are here, and here's our snapshot. And so we can close this. And now let's do something horrible to our system so that uh, we can see how the snapshot manager works. So, so let's see what happens when we hose our system. So one of the things that I've discussed is this command sudo rm-r for recursive dash s for f for force on root this is a very dangerous command fortunately some of the newer versions of Linux have added this fail safe to it and even that doesn't work so you can still hold your hose your system by working on uh, let's say the Etsy directory now we can do this and let's see what this does we have no Etsy directory. Okay, that's not good. We can't get that back. Forensically, we could probably go in and recover all the files, but we don't have several hours or a day in order to go back and do that. So let's go ahead and let's reboot and see what happens. Uh, we'll halt. Oh, this is good. It's actually indicating that it doesn't even know who we are now. Why? Because that information is kept in the Etsy directory and we've deleted that so let's just say I've really screwed up let's go back and let's restart so it looks like I'm hosed here I'm literally stuck and it won't let me do anything because I removed that directory so I'm just going to shut down the guest let's see if it's going to allow us to do that okay so it's shut down let's restart it and let's see what happens Oh my, nothing. So I've hosed my system. What can I do? I can go back up to snapshot, revert to snapshot here, or you can go to snapshot manager. You can go back here, select that. Notice it has a nice little screenshot here showing what was running at the time. And we can either select go to or we can go back up and select either revert to snapshot here by restoring the snapshot in the current state will be lost you want to restore February 23rd yes I do now let's see if we can go back to and there we are and we've got it back then we can work from there so <clears throat> what I would suggest you do especially if you've got a lot of work in being done in here and you want to save that work is that once a week or you know however so often go up to VM snapshot and take that snapshot and name it appropriately by date or by whatever uh, by the course number and date so that you can always go back and revert to a snapshot in case you do something horribly wrong with your system.